All right. So look, I had to make this video because the, the, the things that I'm reading that I stumbled across, it just really blew my mind. And I, and I have to talk about it because number one, it really speaks volumes to what is happening for this Lions organization and what's been happening the last three seasons. Sam Laporta is the only, and I'm going to say it again, only tight end in NFL history to accumulate at least 40 receptions, 400 yards, and four touchdowns through his first eight NFL games. Only tight end in NFL history. So for all of you haters out there, which there's probably not many left, that thought that Brad Holmes was an idiot for drafting Sam Laporta, what do you got to say now? Because I had this kid high on my list, man. He was my favorite tight end out of this whole draft. And now look what we're getting out of him. But you know what? That's, that's just the tip of the iceberg right now. Because there's another guy in this team that's also done some pretty incredible things. For some reason, Brad Holmes isn't just striking gold in the NFL draft. This guy is plucking diamonds after diamond after diamond in every single draft. And I don't care what round it's coming from. Come on, Ross St. Brown. Yeah, you know that guy? Look, he, he's the first to set an NFL record to go at least six games with eight catches in a TD. And he did that last season. Caught fire in his first season, the last few games, and brought that into 2022 and finished the job. Even though he got hurt and even though he was banged up in the beginning of the season last season, he did it at the Washington game, wrapped it up, right? gets even better. He also is the youngest player in Lions history to complete a thousand yard season. At just 23 years and 61 days old, he broke the club record to be the youngest receiver with a thousand yards. Calvin Johnson, surprise, surprise, was the previous holder of that record at 23 years and 69 days. Just eight days between these guys. And oh, by the way, Amon Ra was a fourth round pick in 2021. He's become one of the biggest draft day steals in modern day history. Right next to Sam Laporta, Brian Branch. There might be a couple other names, you know, that, that we've got going on in the last three seasons, but they haven't shown enough just yet. But look, Brad is pulling these guys and putting them into the starting lineup right away. Well, I should say Dan Campbell is. And that's another person that deserves a big round of applause and a big pat on the back. Do you know how difficult it is to bring in rookies and put them on the field in year one? Let alone have incredible success? It is unbelievably difficult. Not many teams, and I can't even think of a coach and a GM in recent history to have this much success this early year in and year out through 30 games right now, which Brown has played more than that, but through 30 games, St. Brown ranked first in club history in catches 179, 11 games with eight catches or more. He had the most rushing uh, rushing yards for a receiver with 156 and a catch percentage, 75.2. And I'm laughing, like I'm smiling right now because when I think about what's going on right now for this organization, I can't help but smile. I'm dumbfounded. Like, how are they having so much success? 
and it's translating onto the field. I think that's what blows my mind the most. But to you know, put it in perspective, that that St. Brown is only the 14th uh, Detroit Lion with a thousand yard, uh, you know, thousand yard season in the Super Bowl era. That is. Names like Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones, Golden Tate, Calvin Johnson, Roy Williams, Mike Fury, Johnny Morton, Jermaine Crowell, Herman Moore, Brett Perriman, which those two did it in the same season, Richard Johnson, Freddie Scott, Pat Studstill. Pretty incredible names on that list. Mike Fury, yeah, not, not really digging that one, but, you know, everybody loved Mike Fury. The point that I'm trying to make and the reason why I did this video and it was really about Laporta is, man, congratulations, Sam Laporta. Like, truly, dude, I mean, like, you are killing it. And from what we see from a mile away, outside looking in, he, he's extremely durable, right? Knows his job. Smart. Trustworthy. Dependable. Everything that you want out of a teammate, especially a tight end. And he's just scratching the surface, man. Wait till he gets to year two and three, and he's really starting to blossom. I hope that we keep Ben Johnson around. I really do. Because he's going to have a ton of fun with this roster as they get bigger and better and more experienced. Oh, wow, these Detroit Lions are really doing some fun things, man. Really making it fun for us as fans. And it's got to be fun inside that office. Three drafts. More than 50% success rate from draft to starting lineup. More than 50%. I think there's Jamar Jefferson might be the only one that's not on the roster right now. And I actually, I think he just came back. But he might have been the only one that was off the roster. Brad Holmes, man. I, I don't know what he eats or what he drinks, but I, I want to find out because I need some of that good luck, some of that whatever you call it. Man. Well, that's really all I had for you all. Look, man, this is a fun channel. We're having a great season. We're having a good time. And uh, we're going to keep bringing you stuff like this. So do yourself a favor. Check below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit it. Come join Rockdown Detroit Lions. Enjoy the season with us. We're synonymous right now with the Detroit Lions in that both of our energies are going in the same direction. We're having a blast. We want to bring you all with us. All right. Come back next weekend. Uh, we'll be dropping some more videos. Uh, but we're going to be doing uh, some more super fan stuff, Lions chat, and uh, got some former players that are going to be coming on yet this season. And we want to do some giveaways. We got some some contest giveaways. We're going to be doing some Charb Royal grill covers, thanks to one of our sponsors who will be named later. All right, y'all, look, you know how we do it over here. Go One Pride, go Detroit Lions. And as always, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you make it a great one. We'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.